What happens if you destroy a black hole? Black holes are incredibly massive objects formed from the collapse of massive stars, and they have extremely strong gravitational forces that make them challenging to manipulate or destroy. A black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. The gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. This can happen when a star is dying. Because no light can get out, people can't see black holes. They are invisible. Space telescopes with special tools can help find black holes. The special tools can see how stars that are very close to black holes act differently than other stars. The existence and behavior of black holes are described by Einstein's theory of general relativity, and the interplay between gravity and quantum mechanics is not fully understood in the context of black holes. Number 5. Hawking Radiation Stephen Hawking proposed that black holes are not completely black, but emit a faint form of radiation known as Hawking radiation. Hawking radiation is a theoretical prediction made by the renowned physicist Stephen Hawking in 1974. It is a fascinating concept in the field of theoretical physics and quantum mechanics. Hawking radiation is proposed to be a form of radiation that is emitted by black holes, causing them to gradually lose mass and ultimately evaporate over time. Over extremely long periods of time, this radiation can lead to the gradual evaporation of black holes. Small black holes are expected to evaporate more quickly than larger ones. If this process were to continue, a black hole could theoretically die by completely radiating away its mass, leaving behind only Hawking radiation. As Hawking radiation is emitted, the black hole gradually loses mass and, consequently, shrinks over time. If no additional mass or energy falls into the black hole, it will eventually completely evaporate. This has profound consequences for the ultimate fate of black holes. Hawking radiation also implies that black holes have a temperature, which is inversely proportional to their mass. This discovery led to the formulation of the laws of black hole thermodynamics, including the notion that black holes have an entropy associated with them. Number 4. Information Paradox The concept of black hole destruction is closely tied to the information paradox, which arises from the apparent conflict between the principles of quantum mechanics and general relativity. According to quantum mechanics, information is never lost, but when matter falls into a black hole, it seems to disappear, leading to a loss of information. Resolving this paradox could involve finding a way for black holes to eventually release the information they have absorbed, potentially leading to their destruction in the sense that the information they contained is released. Black holes are objects in space with such strong gravitational fields that nothing, not even light, can escape from their vicinity once it crosses a boundary known as the event horizon. The event horizon is a mathematical surface beyond which information and matter seem to be lost forever to an external observer. One possible resolution is that the information of particles falling into a black hole is encoded in the Hawking radiation emitted by the black hole during its evaporation. However, it is a challenging problem to demonstrate how this information can be precisely extracted from the radiation. Some physicists have proposed the idea of firewalls near the event horizon, which would destroy incoming particles and their information. However, this idea also faces significant challenges and has not gained widespread acceptance. This hypothesis suggests that there is no single observer who can simultaneously measure both the information falling into a black hole and the information coming out as Hawking radiation. Different observers may perceive different aspects of the information, and there is no contradiction if their observations are not directly compared. Some physicists believe that a resolution to the information paradox may require new insights into the fundamental nature of spacetime, gravity, and quantum mechanics. This could involve a modification of our understanding of the laws of physics at extreme scales, 
such as quantum gravity theories. Number 3. Collision with another black hole If two black holes were to collide and merge, they could form a larger black hole. This merger would release a tremendous amount of energy in the form of gravitational waves, but the resulting black hole would still exist. The collision of two black holes produces strong gravitational waves that ripple through spacitime. These gravitational waves carry energy away from the system, causing the two black holes to spiral closer together and eventually merge. This process emits an intense burst of gravitational waves that can be detected by sensitive instruments like LIGO, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, and Virgo. As the two black holes get closer, their event horizons, the boundaries beyond which nothing can escape, including light, merge into a single, larger event horizon. This merger results in a more massive black hole. A significant amount of energy is released in the form of gravitational waves during the merger. In some cases, this energy release can be more powerful than the total energy output of all the stars in the observable universe for a brief moment. The combined mass of the two merging black holes is greater than the mass of the resulting black hole. This extra mass is converted into energy, primarily in the form of gravitational waves. The collision causes severe distortions in the space-time around the black holes, creating strong gravitational fields that significantly warp the surrounding space. This can have a significant impact on nearby objects and space-time itself. Scientists can detect black hole collisions through the gravitational waves they emit, but these events do not produce significant electromagnetic radiation, such as light or X-rays. Thus, they are typically observed solely through gravitational wave detectors. Black hole mergers play a role in the evolution of galaxies and can influence the distribution of matter in the universe. They also contribute to our understanding of black hole populations and their properties. Number 2. Accretion Black holes can grow by accreting matter from their surroundings, such as gas and dust. As matter falls into a black hole, it adds to its mass. Conversely, if a black hole were to lose a significant amount of mass through interactions with its surroundings or by emitting Hawking radiation, it would shrink in size. Black holes have an extremely strong gravitational pull due to their immense mass and compact size. This gravitational force can capture nearby matter and pull it towards the black hole. As matter gets closer to the black hole, it approaches a boundary called the event horizon. The event horizon is a region around the black hole from which nothing, not even light, can escape. Once matter crosses the event horizon, it is effectively lost to the black hole, and it becomes part of the black hole's mass. Accretion by black holes is a fundamental process in astrophysics and plays a crucial role in a variety of astrophysical phenomena including active galactic nuclei, AGN, quasars, and X-ray binary systems. It also has implications for our understanding of the evolution of galaxies and the growth of supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies. Studying accretion processes around black holes provides valuable insights into the nature of spacitime, the behavior of matter under extreme conditions, and the energetic phenomena associated with black holes. Number 1. Theoretical Concepts There are theoretical concepts like white holes and wormholes that are sometimes considered in discussions about the fate of black holes. A white hole is a hypothetical region of spacitime where nothing can enter from the outside, but matter and energy can only escape. Some physicists have suggested that a black hole could potentially evolve into a white hole, but this idea is highly speculative and not well supported by current scientific understanding. Black holes are fascinating astronomical objects that have captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike. They are formed from the remnants of massive stars that have undergone gravitational collapse. At the heart of a black hole lies a point called the singularity, where all the mass of the collapsed star is concentrated. This singularity is believed to have infinite density and zero volume. 
leading to the breakdown of our current understanding of physics, including the laws of general relativity and quantum mechanics. The event horizon is the boundary around a black hole beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape. Once an object crosses the event horizon, it is forever trapped within the black hole's gravitational pull. Black holes come in different sizes, ranging from stellar mass black holes formed from the remnants of massive stars to supermassive black holes found at the centers of galaxies. Intermediate mass black holes are also theorized to exist. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon.